Chapter 4's very first trailer just released and it hides a ton of things including new characters, the actual release date of the game, and even some lore secrets that give us a lot to theorize about but let's just jump right into it. So in the last Chapter 4 teaser, at the end the devs revealed something was dropping on September 30th. I thought it would be an ARG update or something small like that but come today I was very wrong as the devs would drop the first Chapter 4 teaser trailer that was not what I was expecting at all. The trailer the trailer starts off in some small storage room with the remains of some of the mini smiling critters before a surviving dog day comes walking through, with the next shot showing even more remains of these critters almost like something had been attacking them. Next, dog day can be seen walking over to a headless bobby bear hug plush and starts eating her, but not before this mysterious thing on the left starts to move and comes to life revealing a brand new smiling critter that jumps out and attacks dog day eating him alive then panning the room out to show piles of old toys before the new character looks up and shows their ominous creepy smile cutting the trailer into black before we see the official chapter 4 logo that then reveals the actual release date of the game january 2025 so first off there's a lot of things to break down here but starting with the room the trailer takes place in this appears like it's obviously going to be a location scene in chapter 4 and it seems to suggest the mini smiling critters might actually be making a return in this next chapter at least until being attacked by this new smiling critter which will break down in a second looking at the zoomed out room at the end of the trailer we can see there are piles upon piles of other toys who have also become victims from smiling critters to copy to boogie bot all are fair game here now I've looked around for a long long time trying to see if there are any new characters we haven't seen yet in these piles before but from what I see it's literally just all old characters and critters nothing new to break down here but perhaps the most important part of this room is looking on the top left corner you can actually see what appears to be some colored shape on one of these storage boxes tucked in the dark along with another one over on the top here with the same symbol and a caged off one seen here and these containers specifically the symbols on them matter because if you've been following chapter 4's development over the past few months you know we've gotten some drawings that supposedly hid chapter 4 secrets with the devs notably pointing out the red blue and yellow umbrella in this one and and the red blue and yellow wuggies in this one i had originally thought in previous videos these colors were teasing the next main antagonist but it clearly seems to be teasing the color pattern seen on this icon in the trailer in fact for the upcoming chapter 4 arg we also got this little paper here with a mysterious spiral square shape on the bottom right which seems to be referencing this exact square icon here and while for now i don't really have any concrete ideas on what it means the fact that they've been teasing this symbol and its colors for weeks now leading up to this clearly means it has some kind of a bigger purpose and maybe it'll be teased more in the ARG or the actual game because it's definitely important I just really don't know how we also got this thumbnail to go along with the trailer which gives us a better look at the sheep character who we'll talk about in a little but we can also see this background location a little bit here which is really hard to make out we can see that there is another one of the cage storage units here and some kind of an open area here to the left which is likely another place that will be in chapter four now talking about about the elephant or should I say the sheep in the room I want to talk about the new smiling critter that attacks dog day who judge from the black wool all around their body clearly seems to be a brand new sheep critter which obviously had me going crazy when I first saw this like I've wanted a sheep character in the game for so long because of my channel name and it's really here plus the developer Amber even told me the character was actually unironically no joke created based on this very channel as a sort of niche reference it's not a cameo I didn't have a part in their creation or anything but it is actually based on sheep rampage and she was the one who helped make it a real thing so huge shout out to her and huge shout out to you guys for supporting me because otherwise this wouldn't have happened but now this makes me wonder what is this sheep character and why are they here attacking the other smiling critters well interestingly right before the trailer dropped the mob devs tweeted out saying our smiling critters have been through something or some one showing the original smiling critters from chapter three but this time completely destroyed the background they are on is now an evil dark red and the toys themselves are missing eyes stuffing and everything and judge from them specifically saying these smiling critters have been through something or someone i assume this is referencing the sheep characters since it dropped right before this trailer release and we've seen they definitely aren't the friendliest towards the other smiling critters poor dog day by the way the devs must hate him with how they're treating him but then 
then this poses a question why would these sheep attack dog day and all of the other smiling critters for that matter well in my opinion i think possibly there's something the sheep has against not just the smiling critters but the rest of the toys because again assuming this is the sheep who destroyed these smiling critters here i also wonder if they might have been the ones responsible for attacking kissy missy at the end of chapter three i mean we've seen their extremely aggressive behavior fully on display in this trailer and ability to hide in plain sight before launching an attack so maybe they were the one responsible for all of these destructions and there's some kind of an unknown motive behind them perhaps they are a proxy who worked with the prototype to try and stop us in our tracks or maybe they are literally just evil to be evil in the thumbnail for the chapter we can see that they have a pendant of a skull and all of the other critters thus far have pendants associated with their personality traits in their accompanying shows and descriptions so the sheep might literally just be associated with death or something in some dark way and this is just their personality plus i also wonder how these sheep will work gameplay wise in the chapter as while we only see the little mini sheep in the trailer thus far we saw obviously in chapter three that there were multiple bigger bodies of these smiling critters in fact the poppy orientation book says every single one of them was eventually turned into a bigger body at one point or another so i think or at least am hoping that there is also a bigger body of these sheep that shares the same aggressive abilities and maybe if there is one and all my theories are correct the bigger body could have been the one to attack kissy but touching upon the release date they've now officially announced the game is planned to drop in january of next year which is only in like three to four months from now we are already extremely close and with that being said i assume this release map is going to be very similar to chapter threes which got its arg in october and november and got its gameplay trailers in december and january plus if you've watched my interview with the ceo zach a few months ago he actually told us we would have the release date before the year ends and knowing now that the game is going to release in january this makes sense and we can expect to have a release date trailer giving us the final date before 2025 at least assuming there's no delays from the january window which honestly i would almost expect it at this point because outside of a couple project playtime updates the games are basically always delayed by at least a little bit so i'm taking this release date with a grain of salt but either way it's extremely soon but speaking overall i think the theme of this trailer above all is meant to show us the savageness of the toys as we go deeper into the factory and most importantly how they would do anything for food since while the toys are immortal and don't age like human beings they all spare from the prototype who for some reason doesn't need to eat require sustenance according to the scientists and needed to consume something or someone in order to live a theme that's been present since the start of the game with the writings about being hungry and the prototype feeding the critters in exchange for worshiping his cult and this trailer puts that on full display showing mountains of toys sacrificed to being eaten and even toys of the same kind were forced to go around feasting upon each other like a food chain which the sheep seems to rise to the top of and this trailer is meant to represent how as we go deeper into the factory and the chapters get progressively darker the few predators who rose above them all and still remain below the factory only become more devious and desperate for a bite of flesh predators who will seemingly reveal themselves to us in this upcoming chapter but let me know in the comments below what you think this all means